Alright, it's 2.27 Eastern Standard Time, so wait, 2.27 in the morning, and I'm just really, I guess you could say, disappointed, angry, uh, irate, any other adjective you would like to say that you could put in for mad and sad. Any of those would work for nice in this situation. It's this whole Houston Astros base or not base stealing saga, uh, sign stealing saga. I mean, now in the past couple days, you have big, you have pretty big name players like Mike Trout, who you ne you never hear Mike Trout say anything, and it's the middle of February and he's coming out saying the Ash what the Astros did was wrong and they ended career short. And I mean, you got the best player coming out in the league that you never hear from. You never hear from coming out saying what they did was wrong and they need to be punished more. He was not happy with the commissioner's punishment on the Astros, which a common theme for most uh, players that you hear from. Nobody's happy with the, with the punishment. If you look at what Cody Bellinger said a couple days ago, not happy with the punishment. Uh, what you heard from Justin Turner, I believe, yesterday, not happy with the punishment, should be more. What you heard from Aaron, Ju uh, Aaron Judge came out yesterday saying, it pretty much makes me sick to my stomach. Now, sick to my stomach was a direct quote, quote from him. And just being completely m mad that the commissioner, who has all of the power in the sport doesn't do a damn thing if you at least tried that's understandable but when you sit here and you don't even try to punish him which i know you you don't want to because you want to get the full story but you have to at least try it's oh my god now i'm seeing some places where because and i'm gonna take off on a tangent here Nick Markeke said yesterday, Astro players are, quote, going to take a beating. They need a beating. And pitchers are going to take it into their own hands. Because the commissioner, in baseball players' minds and eyes, commissioner didn't do a damn thing to the, to the players. Because I could go to a Little League field. I could go to a Little League team. And they know cheating's wrong. And you're telling me grown-ass men who are getting paid millions and millions of dollars to play a kid's game don't know stealing signs electronically is illegal. Don't know betting. Don't know banging trash cans to say what pitch is coming isn't, uh, is cheating, isn't cheating. You're telling me that these guys, these grown men, don't know what cheating is. You gotta be kidding me. And it's, it's so sad. Because this team, this Astros team, has talent. They had all the talent. It took them years to get it, but they had all the talent. And they ruined it all for one ring. And the way the, the punishment was, that ring was worth it. They did it. It was completely worth it. They cheated their way to get there. They cheated through the regular season. We And they cheated. Their, they cheated their way to the World Series, and they won the World Series. That World Series ring and trophy is tainted. Now, oh man, I just want to talk about all this. And then you have pitchers coming out saying, yeah, we're going to hit them pretty much. And they're Dusty Baker, who I feel so bad for in this situation, gets thrown to the wolves, getting put in the worst situation, taking control of this team as the field manager. He, he goes to the commissioner and say, hey, we, we got to protect the players, which good for him. He, that's his job. He's got to protect his players. And the commissioner is saying, okay, let me go talk to the 29 other managers and put in, if you hit them on purpose, there's going to be a punishment. Which that punishment right there, with, as a pitcher intentionally throws to an Astro batter, is already more punishment than what the Astro players have received for cheating. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I, 
there's a right way and a wrong way to hit a batter. If you hit him in the head, you that's fine, no matter it what. If it's on purpose or incidental. Well, no. If it's on purpose, it's an automatic fine, I think. Because you're dealing with a man's life. If you hit, there's a right way. If you hit him in the freaking butt or the lower back, that's fine. That's fine. That's the right way to hit the batter. But if anybody accidentally throws one and the umpire's rule was purpose, that pitcher's going to get fined. That's the, here, here's what I'm thinking. If some, because Astro batter is going to get beaten, they're going to lead the team. They're going, they're going to lead Major League Baseball and hit by pitches this year. It's just a fact. It's going to happen. It's probably going to happen in spring training too. But uh, I don't know what the fine is going to be, what punishment they're going to do. They're probably going to fine the pitcher. I don't know. Eighty thousand, I guess. I have no idea. Maybe twenty thousand, ten thousand. I don't know. But what? But whatever fine, that if it's a fine, if it's a fine, the team's paying for it. I can almost guarantee because it's going to be a fine to, I don't know. Let's say Andrew Heaney of the Angels throws and hits. I don't know Josh Reddick, for example. Mike Trout's probably going to pay some of that fine. Anthony Rendon's probably going to pay some of that fine. Because players are fed up that the commissioner has not done a damn thing to affect the players. They affected the team for two years. They have, He took away their first and second round draft pick. That's nice. But you have to punish the players. I mean, come on. But... Alright, let me try and get this somewhat focused. And then you got Rob Manfred, who's doing the rounds on interviews now. He did an interview with ESPN, where he was trying to make a metaphor, and he called the World Series trophy a piece of metal. That was a direct quote from Manfred on the ESPN interview, if I am uh, correct, with uh, Ravitch, Carl Ravitch. Now, Justin Turner came out today saying... Pretty much, the only thing that's that uh, taints that World Series ring is the word commissioner on it, because it's called the commissioner's trophy. So what he's pretty much saying is, you taint the trophy. Which, I mean, the way Manfred's doing a job right now, the way Manfred is commissioning the sport of baseball is by far, I think, the worst out of the big four sports in America. Hockey, football, baseball. Basketball. By far the worst. I th he's probably passed Goodell on this point just alone. Because you can tell Goodell likes and loves the sport of football. I don't know if Rob Manfred likes and loves the sport of baseball. I don't think he does. And it's just so... <sighs> it's just so sad that you have a commissioner that has all the power... In the palm of his hand. And doesn't. He doesn't throw down the band hammer. He doesn't just. Ugh. And then the player. I'm already repeating myself. But I'm going to say it again. The players are going to get more punishment. For throwing at Astro hitters. Than the Astros are going to get for cheating. Let that sink in. It's. It's so twisted. And it's so the wrong way. To do things. And I mean, I'm not a basketball fan at all. But when you got probably the biggest name in all of basketball, when you got LeBron James coming out saying, listen to your players about what's going on, what you need to do. When, he, when you have him coming out saying something, then you know there's a problem. Because LeBron... I, I, not to me. LeBron is the biggest icon in sports. It, that's what it seems like. As of right now, it seems like LeBron's the biggest icon in sports right now. Out of the big four. And I mean, when you have him coming out saying some, you need, a ch you need to listen to your players, then you know you have a problem. For the worldwide thing. For 
the people that don't really listen to baseball, that watch baseball. When you have Mike Trout say something, not a lot of people even know what Mike Trout sounds like, if I'm being honest. If you if you could walk by him on a street, 9 out of 10 people probably wouldn't know who he is. And it's just... When you have LeBron coming out saying that you got a problem about your punishment and you need to listen to the players, you have a problem. And he pretty much said, quote, LeBron pretty much said, quote, fix this for the sake of the sport. Fix this for the sake of sports. And I mean... Manfred has done such a shit job handling this Astro scandal. That's, I believe now, that's when the playoff expansion came out. It's look over here. Look at what we're doing so you can stop looking at the Astros and stop talking about it. This ain't going away. If people still talk about the Black Sox scandal 101 years ago, do you really think people are going to let this go after after? 2017 was the year they cheated. So, two years when after we, two years we knew last year. I mean, for so three years. I mean, come on, you have, you have to be smarter than this. And it's just not clicking. So, is this is so dumb. This whole Astros thing, and then Manfred's dealing, Manfred's punishment of it, and then the player's reaction to it, is, you can make this into a movie. You really could. So, why you don't just, why you don't punish the players? I understand why, but you have to try. You can negotiate with the union. Let's say you ban them for a year. 2020, they're gone. They're not playing. Union's like, what the fuck? You can negotiate that down to half a year, a couple months, a month, a month. Uh, you can negotiate. Why you didn't try is... That's the problem I'm having with. Is you didn't try to punish the player. You didn't. So when you just don't do that, you, you lose integrity. Because the players are the one performing. They're the ones that are physically cheating. And you don't punish the active participants in the cheating scandal. You lost all credibility. And I need to just take a breath and calm down. But I just want to wrap up saying I think Manfred has done a horrible job with the punishment with the reaction, especially with the reaction to the punishment, I think was the worst. Because originally, I thought the punishment was fine. With the reasoning and everything, I thought it was fine. But with looking back on it and having st more, more stuff come out, especially, you have to say the players have to be punished. And when they're not, it's you lose integrity. You lose all your credibility. But I just... I've been seeing stuff coming, especially the last three, now two, three days. I wanted to make a video, and I just wanted to rant. And that's all this is. It's just a rant. So, if, if you guys liked the rant, awesome. Press the like button. Subscribe down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the whole Astros saga soap opera. Manfred not being able to, his reaction to the, uh, player's reaction to his punishment, Manfred not being able to, uh, win back the graces of the fans, uh, what you think of Manfred calling the World Series trophy a piece of metal, I know it was a metaphor, but he said it, um, share this video with all your friends and buddies, and, that's all I got.